What's happening, YouTube? I am back with another reaction. So, today we're going to be reacting to Unforgettable Moments Caught on Live TV. Awkward moments and funny fails and bloopers. So, that being said, let's get to it, shall we? Careful on it, but cover. Whoa, whoa. Welcome to Brain Hub. If you want to be entered into our hundred dollar iTunes gift card giveaway, be sure to click that subscribe button, comment below, and like the video. Enjoy. My my wife calls it's like since when did you become the fat guy on that show? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's the same thing. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> You need to watch your mouth, all right? <laughs> you know, you just got another problem in your hands. What the hell happened? Oh, just my nose. Thank you. You better watch your mouth. And that's a lesson for life. Think before you speak. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who's the host of, Fuck of Huckabee, right here on the Fox News Channel. He's also a former Republican presidential candidate. <laughs> <laughs> What's going through your little mind, woman? Fuck a beast? Hmm? Fuck a beast? Alright, moving on. thousands of traditional states. Oh, my God. This was a close race, but only for a short while. Once the votes and ballots started rolling in from, excuse me, uh, one of the larger uh, counties or some of the larger counties. What's so the fuck? New reports cite White House officials calling Israeli Prime Minister all kinds of crazy words. And those are the, and that's, we'll have more on that later. We'll look at strained U.S. Israel relations coming up next. And for more down, what we can expect from this winter blast, let's bring in Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel. He's in Sugar Mountain, North Carolina. Hi, Mike. Why? Uh, seriously? Well, this is Mike not quite ready for us, but let's turn to some other news <laughs> we're following on this uh, Saturday night. That is the... That is just pathetic, all right? <laughs> Well, as we can see here, Mike is not ready yet, so we will get back to you. Come on. You know, I, I really want to know what the hell happened to him after that. <laughs> Let's continue with the video. I want to be a headache this morning, though, Amp. Mm, that sounds awful. <laughs> I do not feel for the people stuck in that. All right, thanks, Hank. Or I do feel Come for on. them. I do feel for them. Yeah. I do not want to be them. Eat it, people. <laughs> Oh my. All right. So now we're Stupid blonde. Like Stupid. Stupid. I'm going to lose the ink. You have to stop dancing back there. I'm going to lose it. All right. If you'd like a holiday kiss, you might want to invest in. Oh my God. In a drug. Okay. Here's a story. Here's a story. I'm Good evening and welcome to BBC News. I'm Martine Croxall. It's nine o'clock. I'm just going to move back to the uh, main set. I know this has happened before, uh, but here we are. If I sidle in, you can pretend that you haven't noticed. Here we are. The school CEO, Barbara Bird Bennett, also released a written statement today. She spoke of hoping for a very smooth and safe transition and she plans to work on it throughout the summer. Be warned, police are on the lookout. <laughs> And if you get a uh, fine, it's unlikely you'll do that. AT and T. All right, I just want to comment on that. If you just stutter like that on live TV, my friend, what the hell are you working on a news 
show, alright? You just can't. You just can't. In order to be successful in the public eye, you need to be able to speak fluently. You know, it's it's common sense because, like we can see right here, it's a cringe fest every time you open your mouth and you don't know what to say. All right, moving on. Store here in Houston were robbed at gunpoint because people knew that they were there with their cell phones and there were there were a few people there. So I want people to be aware that if you decide that you're going to come out and wait in line, you got to take that into consideration. Hello, and I rushed over here from that live doing the game with John, the Jets Bucks game, because you guys announced this morning that who, what other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the halftime show. So I'm excited to hear. <laughs> look at his face. Look, look at the guy Straight with the. Can you tell me where a little sunscreen? This is from Jets Long hair? Are you joking? Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Oh, that was the Great Valley version of Gangnam Style. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed it first hand. It's opening week for me here. You believe yeah. that you got Georgia. Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Well, I'm believing in the number five, too, the fifth year senior, Taj Boyd. Oh. I think with this crowd, one of the best atmospheres in college football, and the defensive line, defensive tackles and defensive ends that Clemson has, they get enough pressure on Jameis Winston. Maybe he makes a mistake, and I think Clemson wins the ball game. Oh. What is going on behind you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, well, the studio had a little bit of a ruckus. We'll have to see what that's about. And the federal government... Oh, wow. Whoa. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hey, Mom, this chick is so bad shit. You know, I mean, excuse me, bad, you know what, excuse me. Yeah, so we've got some Yo. exchanges going on. The mayor's meeting was still going on. The mayor's starting his attack on here. People are stupid, okay? So, that was interesting. So, what can I say? People are stupid and awkward and, well, you know, everything in between. You already saw the video and you already saw the different clips and the different situations. Uh, post your comments down below, let me know what you all thought. And if you liked my reaction, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Take care. Peace.